about 6.30 in the morning and we are headed to the train station to get our train to go to Milan. We have about four hours in Milan just to check out the cathedral and grab some lunch and then we're gonna be headed to Venice. And the city is much quieter in the mornings. I got to watch our orange juice get made fresh. The oranges just dropped right down. Looks really good. We got two espressos. And when we say Zurich is expensive, we're not kidding. This was 29 US dollars for two espressos and two orange juices. The cookies were for you though. <laughs> Travel tip to Switzerland. Yeah. Um, Travel tip. Bring your own food. <laughs> bring, uh, white bread and peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. PB and, and J it up. Your own PB and J sandwiches. PB and J it up. While you're but we've got a good solid 40 minutes before a train comes. And we think it's gonna come to number eight right there. And yeah, so we're just gonna have our very expensive orange juice and coffee. It is a three hour train ride from Zurich to Milan, but we are not in a rush to get there because we are going to be going through the Swiss Alps. My neck was starting to hurt because I could not stop staring out the windows. Every time the train came out of a tunnel, it was just a breathtaking sight. made it to Milan. We have just about three hours here, so we wanted to check out the cathedral and we're gonna go have lunch. There's a couple restaurants nearby where we can get a view of the cathedral and we're just gonna get a bite to eat and check it out. And then we're getting back on the train and we're headed to Venice. We're gonna see if we can get sat here at this restaurant with quite a view. We'll see if they've got any openings.
Duomo di Milano Cathedral took nearly six centuries to complete. The construction began in 1386 and the final details were completed in 1965. It is the largest church in the Italian Republic, even larger than St. Peter's Basilica in the state of Vatican City, a sovereign state. And it's possibly the second largest in Europe and third largest in the world, although its size and position does remain a matter of debate. talking about pistachio gelato for so many years to Jesse, and I'm always bragging about how amazing it is in Italy. You gotta try it in Italy. So it was so fun to finally have pistachio gelato with Jesse in Italy. We had an awesome time exploring for a little bit, and now we're back at the train station and we are headed to Venice. I've been to Italy five times previously, four times for work business trips, and once on a solo trip where I traveled through Italy by myself, which was amazing. And although I had the opportunity to go to Venice twice, I passed up. And the reason why was it is the city of love. And I really wanted to experience this city with Jesse. Today is day 24 and we have arrived in Venice and today's a very special day because my parents are coming from Rome by train and they're meeting us here this afternoon and we're very excited to get to share this experience with them here in Venice and we also have a very special lunch that we're headed to here in a few. This is going to be considered our 10 year anniversary lunch. I believe it's a Michelin star restaurant. They only seat about 20 people at the restaurant at a time and we found this place by a YouTube video and it was amazing the food looked amazing the atmosphere looked amazing we are kind of casual people so it was really exciting to find a restaurant that looks like it's kind of casual but it's gonna have excellent food so I'm very excited to show you what we get there this is our little terrace at our Airbnb and it has quite the view look at this it's so beautiful I woke up this morning and came out here, meditated for a little bit, had my coffee. And now we're ready to go off to a fancy lunch. I have not been sharing all of the Airbnbs that I stayed at. None of them are sponsored on purpose because I wanted to make sure that it was in, you know, good neighborhoods and had all the amenities that it needed before I recommended anything to you guys. Last thing I would ever want to do is encourage you to stay somewhere that I didn't have a good experience at. This place, we've only been here one night and we love it. So I will be 
she's sharing all the details. The wooden beams in the ceiling are just amazing. It really gives it so much character and charm. We are on, I think the third or fourth floor and there is no lift, which is something you really have to read in descriptions of Airbnbs because it can be a lot bringing luggage upstairs, but it's got a beautiful little bedroom here. This is actually where my parents are gonna stay when they get here. And look at this, they've got these beautiful windows and the view is just unbelievable. I can't imagine. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. It came out of the top. I think I did it the wrong way. Hold on. These windows are really cool because if you go one direction, it's a door or like a window and it opens like a door. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. There we go. So this direction, it opens like a door. Then you turn it to the top and then it just pops open like a regular window. So you can have fresh air without the whole thing open. But yeah, the view is just amazing just amazing and this airbnb was really reasonable i'll pop in the exact dollar amount but i know that it was under 150 a night for the two bedrooms which is great because a hotel here in venice is around 250 to 300 per night per hotel room so with my parents staying here it is less than half of the cost that it would be for us to get uh, two hotel rooms so definitely saving ourselves some money there's jesse we're gonna go to lunch Okay, down we go. We have to have a moment for this mirror here at the bottom of the hallway. Oh, people are cheering outside, but look at this. It's like a dragon. So cool. Those tails right there. Look at these walls. I'm kind of in awe. I'm a little scared of them, <laughs> but I'm also in awe. It feels like we're in a medieval castle right now. And it's just our Airbnb. Street. Whew. Lots and lots of crowds here today. Got seared scallop, and look at this little octopus with polenta. Mm. Fresh. I'm switching you. I'm switching. Just kidding. We're sharing both of them. So this is seared scallop on top of a giant roasted artichoke, and it is unbelievable. And you should have seen Jesse's face when he took a bite of that. I've never seen him react to food that way before. <laughs> I'm excited to try that one. We have made it to the train station to pick up my parents. They just arrived here in Venice and they texted that they were sitting down here by the water. So I'm looking for my mom's big floppy hat because I saw she was wearing one in all of her Rome pictures. They'll stand out. They'll look like American tourists. 
You see my mom, did she have a floppy hat on? Nope. Oh no, she doesn't. She does not have a floppy hat. All right, we're gonna get them back safely to the Airbnb. I feel like I'm taking care of my kids, but it's my parents. <laughs> it's just so bizarre that they're in Europe with us right now. Oh, this is gonna be fun. That I'd ever go to Venice with my parents? No. <laughs> yeah. I know, she probably will. <laughs> There's my dad and Jesse just hanging out in Venice together. I'm so happy. They're always so cute together. It's a beautiful night. Very crowded, but very beautiful. I know you can't really see me right now, but I have to show you the moon. It's a full moon right now over Venice, and we just got back from having dinner with my parents, and it is a beautiful, beautiful evening. I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Being a small business owner is amazing. I love it. But there are so many different things that you have to know in order to run a small business. And being an expert in everything can be difficult, especially when you're self-taught like myself and you didn't go to business school. And I believe that you should follow your dreams and any small business that you want to accomplish, it is possible to find that information. And that is where Skillshare comes in. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members across 150 countries. And because they are online classes, you can take them with you. So when I am traveling for work, my learning and education doesn't have to stop. Recently, when I hired my first employee, it was really important to me to make sure that I really learned how to be a good manager. And Skillshare really helped with that. I was able to take classes in all of the different areas that I felt I was lacking. And now I have the confidence that I'm gonna be a great boss. I am a great boss. If you have a specific skill you are trying to learn, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography illustration, graphic design, freelancing, even if you want to learn how to be a YouTuber, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. Skillshare is now available in French, Spanish, Portuguese, and German. Members also have access to the entire library of classes with subtitles so that you can enjoy Skillshare with your language of choice. Skillshare is ad-free so you can stay in the zone while you are exploring your new skills. Right now, Skillshare is offering the first 1,000 subscribers to use the link in the description below, a free one-month trial membership to Skillshare. The link will be in the description below. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and for teaching me how to be a better boss. Good morning. It is day 25 of the trip and my parents arrived last night. We went out and had a nice dinner and it was crazy busy yesterday here in Venice. There is a website that I will link in the description that will tell you what kind of the capacity level is in Venice when the dates are that you're planning on visiting. And yesterday it was at 96% capacity. Today it's supposed to be at 66% capacity and then tomorrow it's supposed to drop all the way down to 30 33%. And the reason why is because on Saturdays, the cruise ships arrive and dump all of the people into the city. So today, hopefully it's a little bit calmer. It's about 745 in the morning and Jesse and I just kind of wanted to walk the streets early and we're going to go get coffee here in a minute and just check out the town. And then a little bit later, we are going to the original Murano glass factory and we're going to get to see how they make all of the beautiful art glass. This is much more of the Venice that I had dreamed about for so many years. Highly recommend getting up early. It's not even that early right now. It's actually 7.45. Sunday, Sunday morning at 7.45. And yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's quiet. A couple people out. Last night last night was wild but we went to bed early so that we could get up early and i think that's the, the key to having a good time here and yes lots of bachelor and bachelorette parties it was super fun to listen to but yeah we didn't stay up and party with them for sure 
So yeah, we are gonna go find our ferry stop to Murano just so we know where it is and we're confident that that's the right spot for later. And then we're gonna go get a coffee and I think we're gonna go to, I think it's called Cafe Florian and it's been around since the 1700s and supposedly it is the oldest coffee house. It didn't say in the world, but it implied in the world that is decorated the same as when it was created. So if they haven't changed anything, they probably just kept up on maintenance on it. So we'll go check that out. It's a whole nother world when there's not a million people, huh? It's beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh, I like these water taxis, the wooden boat ones. Those are nice, nice boats. Jesse's trying to figure out what that thing is. found the cafe that we're going to. It opens in 10 minutes, so we're just gonna hang tight. And I think we will not have a problem getting seating because there's a lot of seating outside. So it's gonna be fun to sit here and have coffee and some snacks and then just watch the crowds arrive. Wonder how busy it'll get in one hour. make that look so easy. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Double espresso. Double espresso. Cappuccino. Perfecto. Perfecto. It's a breakfast, croissant, and oranges. Perfecto. Grazie, Grazie mille. Wow. To Venezia. a little brass hand holding the railing all the way down. Gotta find that now. tickets to Murano and they were $10 for round trip tickets and we're taking the Ferry B. <laughs> Jesse loves Venezia.
a short visit, but that was pretty impressive. He had to make that horse in a minute and a half, and he did it. His life depended on it. The crowd would have booed. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I would have cheered no matter what, just because that was fun. Yeah, I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we did it. He just like had a lump of glass and then tweezers, and it was like immediately a horse. Yeah, as soon as you saw that head come out, you're like, yep, that's a horse. That's a horse. I thought it was pretty cool to hear that it takes 10 years to be able to do those horses. That's that's an art. That is an art. We think that we should get this chess set for Ellery. We're not going to because I bet it's like $2,000, but look how amazing that is. <laughs> it's just shop after shop after shop packed with Murano glass. It's unbelievable. Look at this masterpiece. I have never in all my days seen anything like that. Wow, I have such a new appreciation for glass art. It's incredible. This is my favorite piece so far. Look at this little lamp. It looks like a little mushroom lamp. And it has all this incredible detail on it with the flowers, the colors. It's beautiful. We just watched it rise over there. Well, Jesse watched it. I was actually in the shower. He, he knocks on the door and he's like, Laura, there's a moonrise. I was like, I'm done. I'm out. You had me at moonrise. So we are actually going to be watching a full lunar eclipse of our beautiful moon at about 5.45 a.m. tomorrow. Venetian time. I think it's going to be uh, 11 p.m. back home on Sunday evening. So it'll be Monday morning here. That should be pretty neat. They're kind of, I think you almost na nailed it. It's almost like a crepe, <laughs> like a crepe chip. Interesting. They're good though. Look at my mom's taco. How are you going to eat that? That is massive. It's a single taco. I'm going to pick that up and eat it. No, yeah. You can do it, mom. You can do it. <laughs> It's just us and the milkman and maybe a street sweeper like with a broom so they don't have any cars here <laughs> And then there's uh, shop owners getting their shops ready and we're gonna go see the Rialto Bridge Look, it's a real street sweeper. Told ya Remember this last night? We could barely walk. There's so many people. Yeah, this kind of gets uh, right here, this little turn, man. Whew. It's like a, a turn in a plumbing and it just gets clogged with people. <laughs> 
This is much calmer. <laughs> did you just say it smells like plumbing? <laughs> okay, that corner spot. did. <laughs> the corner did. I just saw a rat. Yeah. You see it? Yeah. There's the rat. That's funny. What I was intending to show you was uh, the view. We just are walking up on the Rialto Bridge. Oh man, that rat went right down that hole. They got their own little city down there. It's like the secret of Nim over here. <laughs> so there it is, the Rialto Bridge. And this is the Grand Canal, I believe. I like it when it's crowded. I like it when it's empty. I like it when it was flooded at night, the first night. And we could see the reflection of all the lights in the water. Something that was really neat when we were here last night is it was sunset. It was actually a few hours before sunset, but the sun was setting behind that building and the light was hitting all the gold and it was just making it shine. It was really beautiful, really different. There's the horsies. close we decided to come back to the bridge of size but to see it from a different perspective and so we are now on the opposite side as we were yesterday it's pretty crazy pretty sad these were the prisons I'm sure a lot of the people were bad people and done things wrong but also I'm sure that a lot of people just uh, had enemies at court or whatnot accused of witchcraft other things Oh, this is the side. We both just started our hand and burnt poop at the bridge of sides. I'm like laughing, but I'm also tearing up. I'm kind of crying. I don't have anything to clean it with. Why don't we have hand sanitizer? Oh my gosh. That's disgusting. Blech. We immediately had to find a place that was open so we could wash our hands. We found a little shop that had croissants and we thoroughly washed our hands first. And then we had the best croissant of our lives. They had a pistachio croissant. The outside was sweet and salty with little crumbled pistachios on it. And the inside was this amazing cream. Store kitties. We're on an adventure to find one of the narrowest streets in Venice. Oh, we found it! Holy mackerel! That is narrow. I'm actually kind of scared of that one. Am I gonna fit in there? <laughs> wow. Look at this, it's one way only, people. I'm scared. We got a dead end over here. Okay, if Jesse fits, I can fit. I do have some pretty broad shoulders, though. Okay, it's not as scary as it looks. This is my dream. I would love to have 
something like this in our backyard. What we should make little, little, little bike. Wow, we could. No, we <laughs> but we may be good. Ah, oh, it's your fault. You put it in my head. That one's all on you, babe. <laughs> Food everywhere looks amazing. You know what we never got to do other than take a gondola ride? I never got to see one of the boats going into the garage. I don't know why, but I was really looking forward to seeing that. So silly, but. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to come back to Venice. We did not go on a gondola ride, my friends. We kept saying, oh, we'll do that tomorrow, or oh, we'll do that after dinner, and it just didn't happen. We're at peace with it. We've made peace with it. It's just a reason to have to come back. That is a wrap for Venice. Did everyone have fun? Yes. yes. Great it's time. beautiful. It's beautiful. And you got to meet my parents. This is my mom, Bonnie, and my dad, Sam. And we had some good food. We created some good memories. And now we're headed to the train station. We're going to Florence. And then we're going to see them in Florence in two more days. So they get to go on a gondola ride tonight. That'll be fun. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Jesse and I never went on one. We're sad about that. But I'm too cool for that. No, you're not. He's not too cool. Too cool for gondolas. <laughs> we meant to go on one. We just it just the gondola guy was like, no, sir, you can't come on. <laughs> you're too cool. Yes. You're too cool. And I was like, please, sir, let me on. And he's like, no. None of this is true. Yeah. Not a word. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in Florence. Arrivederci, Venezia. We'll be back for a gondola ride. Right?